I am one of 16 members of the Student Advisory Council from around the state. And so I heard about Battle of the Fans through being a part of the MHSA. Our principal, he was like the one that was like, yes, you guys can do this. I want you to do this. So the staff was really supportive. What these students were able to do this basketball season blew my mind. These kids are, they buy in from, you know, freshmen and even younger, and they do a great job of incorporating everybody. They're so welcoming and open. It's, I mean, when we see footage of, um, you know, the, the student section, two sections full in our crowd, I've never seen that before, and I've been coming to games here for 20 years, back when those bleachers used to be wood. When we won, everyone just jumped out of their seat just like screaming with joy and happiness. And I could hear it through the hallways and other classrooms too, it was so awesome. Norse Pride is something that Mr. Byard brought into our school and it's really just harnessed a sense of community that he also brought with him. And it's given us a chance as the student body to really take that and run and support robotics, basketball, football, girl soccer, softball, like everything under the weather. Um, it, it's very unique and you go to other schools and they can tell you're always the bigger student section. Every game for us virtually turned into a home game. And when you have that in your corner, it's such a big advantage having those fans being loud for you instead of those fans being loud against you. The most important thing is just the dedication and the uh, just sheer pride we have for our school. Being a small school, like a lot of people probably wouldn't take as much pride, but that's not the case here. Everybody's like really bought into what we do here because we have a great principal in Mr. Byard. And I think it just shows with our student section and with our basketball team and everything. When there's like a big crowd, they always cheer us up, especially in big games. When there's, a, there's like a huge energy in the building, it just brings us together as a team and makes us want to play harder for the fans who just go as hard for us as we could for them. We have 327 students, I believe. Um, there is such a great amount of small town pride. You're watching your best friends, you're watching your cousins, you're watching your brothers and sisters. So it's just like everyone playing out there, whatever sport it is, you know them. They mean something to you, so you want to support them. Everyone just loves like the sense of Norse pride that we have here. When you're already packed in this super tiny gym, like you're cheering on your best friends. So it's just like really crazy. And everyone supports each other and everyone loves each other and everyone wants to be there. I don't know, it just keeps going off that theme of community. It's like, that's the thing you do on a Friday night. Is there a basketball game? Yeah, where is it at? Everyone's going, their parents are going, the grandparents are going, like everyone's there. We're not like that big, but I feel like the impact we make in North Michigan is really big. And I feel like that it stands outside North Michigan itself. And it's just great because like a lot of people probably never heard of North Michigan, but now in recent years, we've really just made noise and it's just continuing to grow. What makes us the best student section in the state is just how accepting and welcoming we are of everyone, whether they're in middle school, elementary school, underclassmen in high school, we want everyone to come out and be supportive if they want to be.